Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. And uh, I want to talk about how the Ravens, man, we looking good at OTAs. It's early on, but I'm feeling good. All right, but before we get into that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, shout out to the new subscribers who were subscribed this morning. I appreciate y'all and everybody that's been subscribing over the last couple weeks. Thank you. really gives me motivation to keep doing these videos. So I appreciate y'all. Uh, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and let, let's get it going. All right, so like I was saying, man, you know, the Ravens have been looking good at OTAs. And I know highlights mean the best parts. We're not showing bad plays in highlights. I'm just going off what the, you know, the Ravens have been showing us. But just going and looking at the highlights, I'm excited. I'm excited, all right? But first, before we get into that, the biggest story of OTAs is what? Lamar Jackson is not there. He's not present. Why is he not working out with the team? Lamar Jackson on his Instagram, he showed you why. All right. He's he's right now in the offseason working with his guy. And if you haven't seen Lamar Jackson, is looking, he's looking buff. All right. He's looking like he's in prime time shape, ready to go right now if the season started today. So if I can see that my QB, is, he's not here for voluntary workouts, but that he's actually working out on his own and getting right, why am I upset? Why would I be nervous? Why would I be worried? He doesn't have to report to the Ravens to June 14th. And I've said this many times, and I'm going to say it again. He does not have to report to the Ravens until June 14th. So between now and then, and the weeks before, if he was getting that work in, why are we upset? Why are we concerned? Don't let the national media fool you and think that there's a rift between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. That one side is holding the other side hostage. And one side wants this deal done, but they can't agree to it. That's not what's happening here. From what Lamar Jackson has told us, and he hasn't proved to be a liar yet. He said, look, I want to play this season out, win the Super Bowl, whatever. But I want to, but the main key is I want to play this season out, and then we'll do the contract. Don't let the national media say, oh, it's so strange that a quarterback doesn't want to do the contract right now. Is he holding out for more money? To Yo, don't let the talking heads confuse you and get you off the wrong track about what's going on. All right. The communication from Lamar Jackson has been clear. After the season, they'll talk about it. Simple as that. So don't worry about it too much. But anyway, the work he's putting in in the offseason shouldn't be understated. Okay. He's showing that he's preparing for this season. And listen, I know every athlete, every, saying an NFL athlete is um, training for the season is not groundbreaking news. So I'm not saying it like, oh, he should be applauded for doing this job. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is there's been too many people, whether it's national media, whether it's local, you know, Ravens fans, whoever, questioning his motives, questioning uh, what he's going to do next. Does he want to be with the Ravens? He's done nothing but show you that, yes, I want to be here. OK, so that's that's what I wanted to say about that. And that's why I'm including Lamar Jackson in this video, because he might not be at voluntary OTAs, but he's still getting that work in. So don't let that fool you. All right. Now, about the OTAs, just from the highlights that they showed us on Twitter, a um, couple of things stood out. First thing was uh, Mark Andrews was in the huddle, kind of breaking the guys down, kind of giving like a, I don't want to say a pep talk, but you know, just, you know what I'm saying, like, give your, give your best effort out here. These are the days that count when we look back at the season. And the reason I like that is because Mark Andrews is a, he's a leader. He's a big dog on this team. He's the best tight end in the NFL, if you ask me. He's, he's paid like it. Even, even though Joko just got a contract that I don't agree with. But still, anyway, he's he's paid as a top flight tight end. He's act like a tight flight tight end. So he's a he's a vet. And now he's stepping into that leadership role and really asserting and being a voice that the guys can look up to. And I like that because now the Ravens have young guys behind him, Kolar and Likely. And if they see Andrews doing this, this is they know that this is a guy that they can talk to about whatever. And not just those guys, but anybody. So seeing that, seeing Mark Andrews in the middle, it was a small segment, but it showed to me that he's taking the step forward of, hey, look, I'm a bet on this team. I'm a leader on this team. And as and as one of the best players on this team, I got to talk. I got to be vocal. So I like seeing that. Um, Most importantly, okay, now this was the most important thing I got from the highlight video. The the player, the rookie that I'm most excited to see, um, the outside of like Kyle Hamilton, right? Because he's the first round pick, so we know Kyle Hamilton. Isaiah Likely. Isaiah Likely was out here in this highlight video going above defenders' heads, snatching one hand grabs out the air, looking like a complete menace to our secondary, right? Now, obviously, this is only highlights. It's only the best parts. 
Who know, he could have some drops here. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I'm a, I'm going to evaluate the good plays. This guy, if the the Ravens have to, it is mandatory they find a way to use him this season. He is a dynamic weapon that the Ravens haven't really had that kind of guy. Now, Andrews is a great tight end, and I think likely is a different style of tight end even than Mark Andrews. Not better, not, not nothing like that, obviously, but just a different style of tight end. So this guy who can be a straight-up mismatch nightmare for anybody he lines up across. Now, the reason he fell to the fourth round has got to be because of the blocking. He's not an accomplished blocker as of yet, but working with the Ravens, he should become a better blocker. So if he can get that part of the game down, he needs to see the field because he can make plays uh, with the ball in his hands, with the ball in the air. This gives Lamar Jackson, now, other than Mark Andrews, another target that he can throw a jump ball to. And now we know when we get into that red zone, we could get stagnant if the run not getting in there. We know that. So what's the easiest way to try to mitigate that? Find a mismatch. Find a guy who will go up and get the ball. Andrews, likely, they could be two of those kind of guys. So just seeing those, that little... Um, so I think the, the Ravens put out a highlight video on Twitter. It was about a minute. So just seeing his two clips in that minute highlight... I was impressed, okay? I mean, one hand grabs, like I said, going over top of defenders, just looking like a real bully out there. And the Ravens need that kind of athletic weapon. And I'm, I'm excited for Kolar, too. Don't get me wrong. I think Kolar is just more the, in the mold of Mark Andrews. And, they, and if that's true, then that's a great mold to be in. So I'm not taking nothing away from that. But just seeing Isaiah likely, he just seems like a kind of guy, athleticism and skill-wise, the Ravens really haven't had before. If he can put it together on the field, if the guys can – if T. Martin, Greg Roman, uh, Keith Williams can be creative and figure out ways to get this guy on the field and get him out in open space and effective, he can really be a weapon for the Ravens this season. All right. Um, oh, and lastly, uh, Rashad Bateman. So, like, at the end of the video, it kind of showed Rashad Bateman singing into the end zone, scoring a touchdown. And um, it's not so much of him scoring a touchdown in OTAs or whatever. You know, that's, that's, that's whatever. That's cool. But it's more the fact of he looks bigger this year. So I think he's ready to take on a bigger load as far as contact and punishment and really being a uh, number one wide receiver that's going to have to, that's going to be asked to do a variety of things. And some of those things might, might include going over the middle. Now, it's not the old days of the NFL where going over the middle means you get your head knocked off, but it's still it's still contact over that middle. So uh, Rashad Bateman looks like a like he's ready to take that next step. So with these highlights and, and Ravens OTAs and and the national media talking about Lamar Jackson and all these kind of silly things that they're saying about him in this narrative of, oh, all his highlights include running. Don't get caught up in that. This, this is what's important. The Ravens are a good team with the potential to be a great team. They are a playoff team with the potential to be a Super Bowl winning team. That's it. Everything else that the media is putting out there is they need clicks. They need engagement. All right. If if they're if Lamar Jackson is in his fifth year and there's still people telling you that he cannot pass the ball, they're trolling you. All right, simple as that. But anyway, I want to get this video out there. Talk about Lamar Jackson. Talk about Isaiah Likely, who I'm really excited about. Um, seeing Mike Andrews step up as a leader and seeing Rashad Bateman really um, fill out his body so he can take on that wide receiver one role and that guy who can be on the field every down. So uh, I'm excited about the Ravens this year, as I've said in many videos before. Um, but yeah, I just want to get a quick update. The Ravens are looking good at OTAs. We'll see what the next round of OTAs brings. And hopefully we get some more highlights out of that. That look good, man. All right, it's your boy Gabriel. That's another fan TV. I'm out.